All right, got a good one here. Tyler Smith on top, Black Belt, Revolution BJJ. John Kilmer on the bottom here, Richmond BJJ. Uh, two guys I've known for a very long time, very likable, charismatic guys. Uh, see a lot of good flowing. And I'll be sure to link some uh, tutorials in the description below. So just check that out as they happen. I'll call them out. Here you see John making a nice transition into X guard early on. Uh, looking to get up on top. <clears throat> he wants to back up a little, stand, you know, pull his leg back and stand in base. Uh, decides instead to switch for a knee bar. So interesting transition. And right away, Tyler, move my head out of the way here. You can see him switching over to 50-50. So Tyler will turn when he feels his leg is being threatened. He'll rotate through and turn back in toward John. So that's a really good way to kind of deal with a knee bar quickly. Uh, I will post defending a knee bar below. And this transition is worth looking over one more time too, really quick. From the leg drag, from the 50-50 that Tyler ends up in, he passes his leg across and he starts to work on a leg drag. So nice transition there to the leg drag. And from the leg drag, he's basically halfway to the back for John. So John recognizes that, puts his shoulders on the mat really quickly to defend the back. Good job there. And Tyler's still after that leg drag and or back take. So depending on which way John moves, he's kind of got access to both here. Following through sort of a pseudo crab ride position there. And he's looking to get on top, establish side control, or get on the back. I think that Tyler would be pretty okay with either one. Side control here, you know, grabbing that far side lapel with that right arm, keeping John from being able to turn too quickly. And here you see John turning anyway. Uh, but good job by Tyler following. And you see him switching here. He wants to get that hook in. John's sham shelled up pretty good, so he ends up putting the knee through instead to take the back, or at least to, to enter in to start taking the back. You can use that knee as a wedge. That's a really good use of that. John's staying tight, though. Good job, Kilmer. Shelling up. However, you can see Tyler's got that one-on-one -on -one with that right arm, and that leads to a harness, right? So John stands up here. And you can see these guys are kind of playing. They're having a good time, but uh, there's that bow and arrow. Watch out. Uh, harness, bow and arrow is always a threat in the gi. Anytime you can get that lapel on the far side, super duper easy. You can see Tyler pulling guard here, just going right to work. I mean, these guys are just playing, having a good time. They're, you know, this is jujitsu, man. This is what it, what it should look like for the most part. You can play tight, but most of the time you should be pretty loose and fluid here. You can see John trying to staple that bottom leg, trying to walk around, but it's really tough against a dexterous opponent with uh, good hip mobility. Um, now you can see Tyler looking to control the collar, bringing John in close as he controls the sleeve on the other side. So that's one of my favorite types of spider guard. You can really mess somebody up there, make it really difficult for them to be able to do anything. Tyler thinking about shin on shin, bringing that knee to the ground there. Uh, John changes his position, gets that other leg up, different position. You know, again, with that spider guard hook, uh, bicep control, it's a tough spot. John circles free, but then Tyler gets it back again. And so you can't really run around as long as that bicep control is there. John's going to have to change things up and try passing in a different direction here. In fact, that's what he ends up doing, cutting the knee across, trying to peel that arm free. Eventually, Tyler just transitions to a different position, and he's going to let go of that sleeve in a second there. Switching over to guard maintenance mode. See Tyler playing underhook. He was working that scissor before to think about going to the back. Forcing John to sort of slow down, not get a clean knee cut. And a little more guard maintenance here, just side to side, working the Toriando. Uh, Tyler stepping over to defend the Toriando. Tyler swimming inside for lasso. And lasso from the half guard is, you know, with a leg hook like that, is quite annoying, very difficult to deal with. And you can see Tyler here setting up a nice harpoon sweep. That link, link below in the comments there. Um, you can follow through and, and see that. All you have to do is be signed into BJJ Path. 